What's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be talking about SEO optimizing a location landing page or a city page. So these are going to come in handy for whenever um, maybe you're just starting off on like a uh, trying to improve your Google map rankings. So as we, you know, take the time to try to expand outwards as much as we can, um, what you can do is you can start creating pages, you know, targeting these surrounding areas. Uh, like White Plains, Woodlands, Hartsdale, Portchester, right? All these other cities that we could potentially try to rank for organically. And uh, these actually still get quite a bit of traffic, um, especially with the recent, uh, with a lot of the recent updates, Google is actually pushing organic pages above the map pack a lot of the times, or not a lot of the times, but it is happening more often now that the map pack actually gets pushed down and then location or organic pages uh, is at the very top. So if you are able to rank these additional pages, then it could result in more traffic and more leads coming in for your business. So you can see, of course, this is right now focusing on the map. Uh, not only can this help you rank organically, right? Because you're adding additional pages, but it can also help you improve your map rankings because you're also going to be pushing that geo relevancy that Google is really looking at now. Um, and that's one way of doing it, right, is by creating these location or geo pages, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the main optimizations that you need to be doing to pretty much maximize your on-page efforts. And then you can then move over to the off-page side of things, which is directly related to link building. All right, guys, so here are the basic on-page SEO optimizations and really going to be the main factors when it comes to trying to rank these pages without doing any off-page, right? These are going to probably get you, I would say, 80% to 90% of the way there, um, depending on the how competitive that particular city is. So first of all, when it comes to uh, the location pages, so we are now needing more unique content um, and I create the content using uh, ZimWriter. So we would just use ZimWriter and then with ZimWriter, we're actually able to get, uh, you know, pump out five, uh, five locations at once and uh, it's going to be unique, right? But you at least want to go anywhere from 60 to 70% uh, unique content. Um, that should be just enough uh, because now really Google is not indexing uh, duplicate content very well. So I found that just to make things a lot easier and speed up that process, just going ahead and trying to get unique content is going to be very helpful. Uh, next, we got the geo-targeted keyword in the URL. So this is uh, one of the top signals for on-page SEO um, that um, at least I, I believe it is. Um, basically, is just having your keyword and then the city right after your domain. So I don't do any of the subfolders using like service areas or, or, or uh, locations, anything like that. You want to have your keyword as close to your domain as possible, right? So you want to avoid all that additional stuff. We want Google, once they crawl this, this URL, we want them to know exactly what we're talking about, right? Um, and we want to have as much relevance as we can. So you want to have your main keyword right after your domain um, and then you would have the city and i like to do the state abbreviation uh, because sometimes you will find there will be uh, the same city name in different states so we want to get very localized um, so i always add the city and then also the state abbreviation within the url um, and here's an example right and uh, electrician dash harrison dash new york now, next thing, we're going to the title tag. Um, you know, very basic stuff here. Of course, you want to have your main keyword. So again, you're going to want to have that main keyword. And that main keyword should be on your URL, on your title tag, and on your H1 tag. It should be the exact same or very, very similar um, on all, in all three of those positions, right? So uh, an example here uh, would for the title tag would be electrician Harrison, New York. And then you'd have, you know, the name of your company. 
Um, so if you have anything like, uh, if you're using WordPress, uh, you can use an SEO plugin like Yoast, all-in-one SEO, um, and then you'll just go here in the bottom. And then this would be where you edit your title tag um, and then also your meta description, right? So we would go in here, uh, we wanna have electrician and then Harrison, New York. And we can also have an additional keyword here. And then we'll put the name of the company. I don't really worry about your, having your SEO title a certain a certain length, right? Um, I found that it doesn't really make a difference. If anything, it helps you having um, additional keywords within the title tag. So we would just do that and then click update. And then we'll just let that uh, update. So going back, um, next thing we do is we want to have our H1 tag, right? Um, you can e either have it here in the main, uh, in the first section, or you can have it here in the following section. Um, I don't really think it's a huge deal when it comes to a section on the page, but you do want to have it on there somewhere. So in this case, ours is right here, right? We have the, our main keyword right here. Um, and then as our number, as our H2, we have a, a uh, related keyword, which is electrical contractor. Um, and that's the one that we're using here in our H2 tag, right? Um, so that takes care of that. Uh, and then going back, uh, we have the uh, geo-targeted keyword. So you just want to have the main keyword again, um, at least one to two times within the body of the content. Um, you don't have to do it um, as they did it back in the day where they had it like over and over again, like 30 to 40 times and try to hide it and things like that. Um, Google's getting pretty smart with that. So you only need to do it uh, one to two times. Um, I wouldn't do more than five, really. Um, it's just not really necessary. Um, after that, we got the uh, keeping the same theme, right? We want to also have that geo-targeted keyword in the image file name and the alt tag, um, right? So this could be any one of your images on the page. Um, for us, it was this one right here. So just to show you guys what that actually looks like real quick, let me scroll down to the image. Uh, if I click on it, you can see we have the uh, electrician contractor near me in Harrison, New York. So that's actually the file name of the image. So you'll just have to rename it whenever you're going into uploading it. Um, and then we would also want to have it here in the alt text, right? So you can literally just copy and paste it, um, hit select, and then make sure we update that. So then that would take care of that, right? Now we also have a geo-relevant image on our page as well, which is also going to be another good signal to have. Um, then we wanna have a external link to the GMB using the share link. Um, if you don't know how to do that, it's really simple. You just go into Google Maps, open up your business, click on the share link, and this is going to be the link URL. Um, I just a lot of people do many different types of URLs, but I just think this is would be the most natural given that it's the one that Google actually gives you um, rather than trying to manipulate. Just hit copy and then we would go back into our page and then we want to have an external link somewhere, right? Um, let me see if I can find that real quick here. So this is our external link right here. So we have, our, again, our main geo keyword, electrician, city, abbreviation of the state. So if I open this link up, it will take us to the uh, Google Maps listing that I just showed right here. Uh, and then going back here, we also want to have other internal links. This just helps Google continue to crawl the website um, as well as, as help boost up other pages, right? So from our, our location page, we can link back to the homepage, um, which is what I normally do. So normally I'll link out once to the homepage, which I'm doing right here uh, with a related keyword. Um, and then another thing that um, we're also doing is you can also link out to like a supporting service page or maybe a blog post um, if you have one. You can also in do a internal link to that as well. Um, and then the last few steps here are um, including a Google map embed of the city and then also a driving direction map embed. Um, and I, I usually put that here in the bottom so here in the bottom, we have a map of the city. So, you know, you would just go into Google Maps, find any city that you want, uh, click share, and then embed a map, copy HTML, and then just insert that in there. 
Then for the driving direction one, what we would want to do is you just go back, hit direction, and then you know you would just need to find your business. Now, one thing we want to make sure we're doing is we want to make sure that it's from the location or the area to your business, not the other way around. So we just need to reverse the starting points. So now we have it coming from the location to our actual business. Click the three dots, click share, and then embed a map. Copy that HTML, do the exact same thing you did for the other one. And then the last step here is going to be adding external links to relevant local city websites. Um, and I have that section right here. So we have, you know, a small paragraph. I normally would add a little bit more information about, about this here. Um, but this is what we have right now. We have an image of the actual city as well. Um, and then we have a few external links. So this one is going to the actual uh, city.gov page. Here is going to the city Wikipedia page. And then we also have um, another link here, which looks like it repeated. So I'll probably change that out. Um, but that's essentially what we want to do. Two to three external links um, is going to be fine, right? All you have to do is just Google the city here. Um, and then you can look at normally the top websites that are ranking here are the ones you want to use. So um, typically those are going to be the most authoritative websites that we want to link out to, right? Just to increase our local relevancy and just give Google those, those signals that they're looking for. Um, and then just a quick uh, thing you guys can do. Um, so whenever I'm looking at like location pages, which one should I build out first? Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to chat. ChatGBT, just really ask it, give me a list of the cities within a county. Um, and this is what it gave me. Um, but then I also want to put a priority on them, right? So the next thing I did is I wanted, I asked it to give me a list uh, or to put them in list form by highest population, right? Um, and that's what it gave me right here. So you can see um, it gave me a list of all the cities with the highest populations. And then, you know, you can prioritize the cities that may get you more traffic there at the beginning. So you might want to focus on those, um, you know, in the beginning months or so. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the overview overview here, guys, on, on optimizing location pages. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment below. Um, and if not, I'll see you in the next one.